What's up, Misfits? I am here in Karnak, Texas for the Josie Reunion Barrel Race uh, here at the Josie Ranch. I've been to seven of their clinics. Every clinic that they ever had in Kentucky, I was at. Uh, I took Mia, my very first, like, really good horse. I took her to, I think, hmm, most of them, about five. Uh, the very first one, I took my horse, Star. She was the very first horse I ever had. She was an old sorrel who did hunter jumper and she hated jumping, but she loved barrels. And then the last one I took uh, my now mom's horse, Missy. She was one of the horses that I trained from the ground up and she did really good. Uh, but I'm here with Evie, little Evie. I just got done feeding her. Uh, I knew I have to do her water yet. I cleaned her stall, uh, but she's doing really well. She handled the long trip very well from Kentucky to here in Texas. Um, so all that preparation work we did a month in advance, you know, taking her to shows by herself, hauling her by herself, letting her know that it is okay to be by herself. She did very good. So I'm really happy with how she's doing. I'm you know, here by myself. This is a solo trip. I went, yeah, from Kentucky to Texas here by myself. Um, so I'm going to have to pick and choose what I record and what I don't, but we're going to try to do the best I can for y'all. The barn is pretty empty right now, but she does have neighbors. So I am glad that Evie does at least have some neighbors around her. I'm sure it'll fill up today. Most people are thinking are going to be coming in today, but I do need to clean up her water. I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go in the trailer, uh, hang out for a little bit. Um, and then just kind of see what we're going to do the rest of the day. Uh, aside from that though, there are warmups today. So I probably will be taking her in warmups. I don't know that I'll get, be able to get anyone to record that depending on who shows up. Uh, but she's doing really good. She's just gnawing on her alfalfa, which is good. I'm happy to see her eating. And I'm happy to see her not screaming and trying to open the door, which she is now. <laughs> but anyway, let me finish doing her water. right with the world you look so good you're doing so good i'm so proud of you little baby evie growing up got her water done but i'm really happy with how she looks she came off the trailer i mean she was dehydrated because she didn't drink at all um on the trip but she did drink like two whole buckets <laughs> when i got here so i decided to go ahead and put that bucket up overnight normally it's just the purple bucket because she likes purple bucket better but just to make sure she didn't run out of water i put that one up but no, she's she's doing incredibly good. She looks good. She doesn't look overly stressed. She did rub her tail head a lot though. So I'll go ahead and do another beamer session on her later. Um, but I'm wondering if it wasn't just because her gut was bothering her a little bit. She did poop and everything just fine, but it was really loose this morning. So I wonder if that doesn't have something to do with it. But um, no, she's doing good. As long as she's eating, drinking, she's doing good. Her legs aren't puffy at all. So all that wrapping and prep we did three in the morning yesterday did really good but no I'm, I'm happy with her she's a good little mare evie's only like 14 2 but 14 1 14 2 ish but dude she can fly like I'll, I'll post the video of her last show uh the saturday before we came but she ran a 15 1 for third in the 1d out of oh there was only like 70 something horses there but even with the bobbling she was still in the 1d it was her very first 1d check Get up! Hurry, hurry. Time to live with 15.142, 15.142. No, kitty, come back. There's a cat under my trailer and I want it because I'm a cat person. Kitty, kitty. Come here, where you at? Oh, you disappeared. There it is. There it goes. Bye-bye. What's up? What's up? What's he doing? He's crazy amazing. Yes. He's a crazy amazing. It's starting to get a little bit warm in here now that the sun's coming up. And open up some windows, get some natural light in here. The only thing I do not like about my AC in here, it's loud. At some point I do want to get like I want to swap it out with like a whisper quiet uh, AC unit. They're not too terribly expensive. So that might be something in the future. When I go to get my couch changed, 
which I probably will do here after a while because I know it's starting to get some like wear on it. So I'll probably have the AC unit done at the same time that way while it's in the shop. What? You have food, ma'am. You have food. Why are you shrieking? She's just so stitchy. We're gonna play dead? We're just gonna play dead. Those are just upgrades that I'm doing. I need to eat. Go ahead and eat and then I will probably head down to the Western store after a little while and we can all obsess over the wonderful tack. Mm, and the saddles, all oh, the saddles, like, I had a Josie saddle, okay, and I loved it. I had to sell it so I could find something else that fit Tari, because Tari is big and it didn't fit her, and I hated selling that saddle. I loved it so much. It was a Josie Mitchell Renegade. <sighs> Who knows, maybe Evie will surprise me, but she has a baby. And we might just win a saddle. That would be phenomenal. She'd have to, I think, win everything in order to get the saddle, but you know. She is only four and still has a baby brain and she's never run, she, I train in an outdoor pen, okay? My arena is outdoors, but she herself has never like competed and actually run in an outdoor pen. So we shall see. We may do a whole lot of bobbing and weaving and we may go from hero to zero in a hot minute, but we're gonna give it our best shot. We're still gonna give it our best shot. And regardless, win, lose, or draw, I'm just happy to be here. I'm excited. This is my little mini vacation. Just one horse makes it super easy. So <sighs> I'm gonna quit talking out. I'm gonna get something to eat and then head on down to the store. Guys, this old train car, freaking cool. I want. I want. I want this one especially. <gasps> Obsession. Obsession. Oh, I love this one. Oh, I want it. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. This is what we need. <laughs> it's my very sad shopping haul because I'm too broke to buy a new saddle or a saddle pad or a new bit. I got this hat because I am that hat collector. I also got fly spray because mine busted in the horse trailer and Evie, poor thing, is covered in flies. So, I had to get another bottle of fly spray. That was a necessity. I may go back and force myself to get a bit because it'd be cheaper to buy it here than it would be to ship it. But I don't want to spend that kind of money right now. I need to fix it. I look like a kid. <laughs> you better now? Yeah, flies aren't bothering you nearly as much, are they? No, poor thing. <laughs> poor thing she was so miserable she's doing pretty good now she's just looking talking to other horses but she's not like screaming her damn head off like other horses are but she's doing good she's actually doing really good i'm i'm super happy with her you look good evie yes i'm talking to you <laughs> i think she likes to be a diva the arena princess that's what she is but no i i took her through warm-ups she did way better than i thought she was going to i thought she was going to be like super watchy about everything especially with like the flags overhead she just she was watching at one spot on the second barrel but then after that she was fine she, she didn't care she wanted to work and she she tried to take me for a little bit of a ride the last time i just wanted her to kind of cruise through let her feel the ground i'll take her through again tomorrow since we're allowed to evie come here you're getting too far away but come up here thank you but no she did really good yeah so I has a good feeling. <laughs> so we has a good feeling about about the show this week, yeah? Polls more than mm, polls. Polls will be whatever happens. That's all I'm going to say about that. Polls will be whatever happens. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. Should be fun. You good? I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one here. You good? She's just nomin away. Nomin away happy. Got her hay done. Got her thing of alfalfa. 
uh, two water buckets. And I think I am just gonna like go in the trailer, make some popcorn and watch a movie or something and just rest up for tomorrow's, tomorrow's polls. So that should be fun. Anyway, see you on day two. So when I parked this truck, okay, it was running. It was running fine. Um, but now, it doesn't even turn over. And the check engine light is on. And I don't, I had it with the car guy just before I left, he changed the oil, changed filters and whatnot. Didn't show any issues coming down here. So, and I'm here by myself. So that's cool. I'm kind of, I'm hoping it's just the battery. It shouldn't B, um, because if it is the battery, I can just ask someone to, you know, jump it. Alright, so I do have jumper cables here, so that's, that's good. Um, just, mm, my mood went from here to all the way down here in, like that. I'm just going to, um with it later i will walk up to the <laughs> uh trophy room in the rain in this lovely weather that we're having and at least just focus on one thing at a time focus on one thing at a time i'll come back i'll worry about this later and I got it started. Some young ladies who are uh, uh, parked next to me, whoops, they uh, <clears throat> were able to help me jump it. And girl power, <laughs> we got it done. So I'm gonna run off to AutoZone. Uh, I'm gonna change both the batteries out. Cause it turns out my dad never changed the batteries in this truck. And it's been like six or seven years since the truck has even had new batteries. So we're just gonna go ahead get them changed out so I don't have to worry about it when I get to leaving here um, either Sunday morning or um, Monday morning so thankfully it is just the batteries that is such a relief and I can get on with my day Whatever. got the batteries changed it's the poles that we got to do tonight I hope the rain's at least done for the rest of the day I don't want any more <laughs> horrible things to go wrong today and EP's never actually run in the rain so this will be interesting. But I'm gonna go straight back to Josie's ranch. Um, I need to do a couple more uh, exhibition runs on Evie, but oh my word, the stressful part I think is done with. Hopefully, I just want, I, I don't want any more bad things to happen. Hopefully this is the only hiccup, only hiccup. So, one thing at a time, right? <laughs>
like what we wanted. We bobbed and weaved, but all in the wrong places. We're too focused on other things and we were all speed, no turn, and it was just, but it was clean. So, okay, before I sign off, <laughs> we won the 3D. Our sloppy little pull run got us a 3D. That's why I always say it's like, it, even if it's sloppy, just work hard to keep your poles up because you never know if you're going to win a division or even get some kind of money out of it. So, day three coming up. <laughs>